It's time for a brand new series! Welcome everyone to Let's Play Donkey Kong, or Game Boy Donkey Kong, or Donkey Kong 94, or Donkey Kong for the original Game Boy. No, I don't mean the one for the for the Game Boy Advance. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, playing Donkey Kong for you all, and uh, really it's one of my favorite Game Boy games of all time, because it's very, very unique, it's got a lot of great things going for it, it's just, it's just a real good time. And uh, we're gonna have Mario here demonstrate some of his brand new moves that he's got for us. One of which is this nice little handstand, if you hold down an A, you can get a nice jump from that. That's how you get to higher ledges and all that. This is the only bit of tutorializing that the game will give you. And you can also, uh, hold one direction, immediately go another direction, you can do the little side jump that he did there. A whole two years before Mario 64. And speaking of which, Mario even has his triple jump that he can use with that handstand earlier. Like so, and like so. Pretty nice, I know. There is fall damage in this game, of course. This is actually kind of like an action game and a puzzle game combined into one, with Mario's moveset being as a driving force for most of those puzzles. And as a final stunt, we've got uh, some wire play, and we'll be exploring all of these moves in great detail as this Let's Play goes on. But uh, right now, let's stop beating around the bush, and let's get started. Alright, here we go. Start a new game here. Now this first, uh, stage, I guess, this whole first world stage, the game calls it a stage, it is a complete remake of the original 1981 Donkey Kong arcade game. I think that's pretty cool. And I have to use Pauline's original screen for the Game Boy because it's very hard to emulate Super Game Boy. But, uh, yeah. Here's the game. Just... Pretty much go around and do the barrel thing, just as normal. Pretty exciting stuff. Ooh. Alright. Yeah, that was a pretty easy first round. Not too hard, not too hard. Pretty good, pretty good. Alright, next stage. 50 meters. This is a stage that's, uh, oftentimes cut from ports of the arcade version. I don't think you see this game in the, uh, the NES version or anything. So that's a good thing. And just like that, we're done with that. A lot of these stages are made easier because, uh, we're on the Game Boy and things have to be squished down a little bit. Clearly. And here at 75 meters you see that pretty much, yeah, here. There's spikes at the bottom, the stage is uh, laid out a little bit differently, it's a lot easier, there's less room, but it's easier to make jumps now. But it's still 75 meters, that stage we've all come to know and hate. And now it's over. Alright, moving on. Stage 4 is always sort of like a boss. The fourth stage is always like some kind of a boss stage. And this is of course no exception. The original game had, uh, had eight of these studs you had to remove, but because the Game Boy is so puny compared to the NES, it can only handle, th it can only handle six, but it might be because of the screen resolution too. And with that last one, he is finished. All right. Does it for the actually, uh, you know, wait. I think we can do better than that. We gotta, we can do that faster, we can do that better, we can do that 100% way better. So let's start a brand new game and try this one more time. Start a new game here. And really, the stages become more fun and can be done a lot faster the more mastery you have over Mario's moves. But unfortunately, I don't have a controller here that can do the sort of the sort of frame perfect input I need to do. So let's see if I can pull off some of these stunts and do these stages really fast. There's one, there's two. Ah! See, there's that. So let's try again. There we go. Sometimes the random number generators will just completely fuck me up. 
But hey, I'm all about speed, not about quality, so... Let's see how well 50 meters does. This is where the, the uh, random numbers really fuck me over. Especially seeing as how I can't exactly just flip onto that top one there. There we go, cut the time down at least. Cannot flip over that, you'll just hit your head, but... yeah. Now, 75 meters is where I have the most trouble, because it's kind of harder to do some of the nicer tricks. Dang it. Uh, there's supposed to be a way to squeeze through that top beam there. Oh well. But we still cut down some time at least. That's all I cared about. I got a feeling that this last one will be a little bit easier to show off. Because all I gotta do is... There's three right off the bat. Don't want to cut across, otherwise DK's gonna kill you. There we go. And done. Time. There we go. Well, thanks for watching my Donkey Kong Let's Play, everybody. Hope you had a fun time watching this, and uh, I'm just kidding. This is an enhanced remake, so of course there's a whole brand new slew of stages and all that other fun stuff just waiting for us. And at the end of every uh, set of four levels, I guess, you get a nice little vignette showing off what's going to be happening next. So the entire basis of the rest of the game is going to be a locked door and a key that we have to pick up and bring to. That's how every stage is going to work from here on out. And you always get one-ups, depending on how much time you had left at the end of each stage. But we'll be doing more of that next time. Let's play Donkey Kong.